Dear NATO leaders, if you don't have a will to close Ukrainian sky and protect innocent people from Russian airplanes, from Russian bombs, then fly in here to Ukraine and protect my sisters by yourself. I'll give you an axe, a shovel, maybe some stones, so that you can throw them directly into the Russian aviation. Ukrainian people protect their homes, they stop Russian soldiers without any weapon, they aren't afraid of bullets. But we can't reach airplanes, helicopters, we can't reach ballistic missiles. Right now, Russia kills my fellow citizens. My pain goes beyond my body, and my mind can't accept this reality. I'm only 19, but I already know what a war means. I didn't read about it in the books. I'm experiencing it every single day. Right now, Putin's forces attack my house, my cities, they bomb civilians and even little children. People are literally afraid to sleep because then they might not get to the bunkers or pack their things quickly enough. Ukrainian women and Ukrainian children are in deep fear because of bombs and missiles which are coming from the sky. We people around the world are asking NATO member states and Ukraine-friendly countries to close the airspace over Ukraine and deploy peacekeeping troops in Ukraine, provide military assistance to Kyiv and support the Ukrainian people. The international community should do everything to stop civilians from dying right now in the middle of Europe or be ashamed for this of the rest for their lives. I spent two days in the shelter. It was very scary. We Ukrainians want to peace on our land. We don't want to hide in basements. We don't want to our families to die. We don't want to war, but we just want a peaceful sky and we beg you to help. Dear Mr. Stoltenberg, I'm an associate professor at Taras Shevchenko National University of Kyiv, and I teach my students that NATO security activities is key to our well-being, that NATO membership is open to any other European states to contribute to the security of the North Atlantic area. Ukraine is contributing now. Ukrainian people ask, where is your contribution? If you have no political will to close the sky and to make no fly zone in purpose not to be dead our children by airstrikes, bombs, missiles, I have an alternative for you. You are welcome to Kyiv to protect our children. It is impossible uh, to <laughs> describe how hard to, law, uh, to lose uh, someone who knew love. Actually, <laughs> My friend from Kharkiv, uh, he, uh, he uh, since from uh, tomorrow, uh, he didn't contact me and actually <clears throat> I'm really worrying about him and his family uh, because he is responsible for his family. I would like to ask you, dear words leaders, you really can save uh, a huge number of Ukrainian lives and a huge numerous of children. Please, uh, close the sky. Ukrainian children, newborn kids are asking the world leaders to fly to Ukraine to protect them. Jetzt ist das Kreischen von Raketen in der ganzen Ukraine zu hören. Der Lärm von Bomben schlägt Fenster ein und Kinder weinen bei jedem Raschel vor dem Fenster. Und so sollte es nicht sein. Und sind Militärflugzeuge und der Rauch pennende Häuser besser als die Sonne im Himmel? Nein. Ich fordere alle europäischen Staats- und Regierungschefs auf, den ukrainischen Himmel zu schließen. We are the children of Ukraine. Protect us. It's in your power. Die Ukraine zwertet sich auf alle Welten. Просимо захистити нас від ворога Росії. Просимо миру. I'm proud of my nation. We are the bravest. But now we are in a big trouble. And everyone in Ukraine needs it. We urge you, NATO. Close the sky! Be really so grateful for all help what you're giving to Ukraine. That's really means, means for us much. Thank you so much, and we are hope that you can close the sky. Ukrainian children, newborn kids, asking world leaders to fly to Ukraine to protect them. Please 
close the sky over the Ukraine. Please stop the uh, terrorism of the Putin. We need you. We need your shelter. We need to shelter our sky. Please let our voices to be heard. We are the children of Ukraine. We are the future of Ukraine. Please save us. I ask leaders of NATO to shut the sky under my country. We are asking you, dear Mr. Stoltenberg, to fly to Ukraine and protect us. Close the sky.